I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, Advanced Research Chemical, Rogers State University, and by viewers like you. Thank you. The Riverfield Ravens and the Caney Valley Trojans are here as we continue our semifinal rounds of the ninth season of I Want Answers. Hello everyone and welcome to our ninth season of Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. I'm your host, Anna Berry, and this week we continue the semifinal round with the Riverfield Ravens and the Caney Valley Trojans. All right, welcome back teams. Now, these teams are competing for a chance at $12,000 in scholarship money that will be awarded in the championship at the end of the season. Let's start off by meeting the players from Riverfield. All right, Riverfield Ravens, we've got senior Sashwat Singh, team captain. We have junior Robert Hale. We have junior Brendan Paul, and we have junior Miles Capehart. Welcome back, Riverfield. All right, let's meet Caney Valley Trojans. Junior Dakota Johnson, team captain. We have senior Alex Thomason. We have junior Hunter Bullock, and we have sophomore Braden Peckham. Welcome back, Trojans. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, excited? Ready? You know that this show is about what I want and what do I want? Answers. Answers. Yes, and you'll get some really good questions for sure. We begin our competition tonight with the speed round. First up, the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answered questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. All right, teams. Get your buzzer hands ready, here we begin. What two states are in the first verse of the folk song, This Land is Your Land? Caney Valley? California and New York. Correct. Puncture wounds are associated with what kind of vipers? Riverfield? Pit vipers. That is correct. What country on the Arabian Peninsula is closest to Pakistan? Riverfield? Oman. Correct. Paralysis is most often caused by damage to what structure consisting of Riverfield? Spinal cord. Correct. In The Odyssey, a blind bear tells stories of the Trojan War. Some scholars speculate that this character is kind of a cameo by what author? Caney Valley? Homer. Correct. Video question from RCB Bank. Hi, I'm Aaron Pegosh with RCB Bank. What denomination of U.S. printed currency has the shortest average lifespan? Caney Valley. Dollar bill. Correct. Name either deuteragonist in the Harry Potter stories. Riverfield. Hermione Granger. Correct. All right, most of the Arrowwoody River is in what Southeast Asian country? Caney Valley? Vietnam. Incorrect. Riverfield? Thailand. Incorrect, it's Burma. Between 1943 and 1952, what Mexican volcano grew from a flat cornfield to a height of 424 meters? It's called Paracutin. What kind of flow over an airfoil increases when the angle of attack becomes too steep? Riverfield? Resistance. Incorrect. Caney Valley? Gravitational. Incorrect. It's turbulent flow. What ancient lengthy waterway is also called the Beijing Hangzhou Canal? Caney Valley? Yellow River. Incorrect. Riverfield? Great River. Incorrect. It's the Grand Canal. Video question from GRDA. Hello, my name is Roy Higginbotham. I work as a tour guide with GRDA. A circuit is a path taken by an electrical current. A path with no brakes is called what? Caney Valley? Endless. Incorrect. It's a closed circuit. 
All right, the ancient region of Canaan was located more or less between the Mediterranean Sea and what Mideast River? Riverfield? Jordan. Correct. What citadel in Moscow is the center of the Russian government and was formerly Riverfield? Kremlin. Correct. All right, another common name for the mudden is the American what? Riverfield? Sheep. Incorrect. Caney Valley? Taj Mahal. Incorrect, it's the coot, the coot. Waimea Canyon is on which Hawaiian island? Haney Valley? Kona. Incorrect. Riverfield? Oahu. Incorrect, it's Kauai. Math question that I'm gonna to read to you. Had Lincoln begun his Gettysburg Address with the words six score and seven years ago, what would the year have been? Riverfield. Uh, mm. 18, no. It's okay. Caney Valley? 1756. Incorrect. It's 1903. Cool. What foot injury results from prolonged exposure to dampness and cold between 5 and 8 degrees? Riverfield? Frostbite. Incorrect. Caney Valley? Swamp foot. Incorrect. It's called immersion foot or trench foot. What kind of energy drives plate tectonics? Candy Valley? Seismic. Incorrect. Riverfield? Thermal. Thermal is correct. These prefixes came from what language? Matri, Omni, Peri, Centri, Candy Valley? Italian. Incorrect. Riverfield? Latin. Latin is correct. We have a video question from Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation. The famous statue of Winged Victory stands in the main entrance of what art museum? Candy Valley? The Louvre. The Louvre is correct. All right, in the 19th century, the Ludites rebelled against the technology of what revolution? Riverfield? The Industrial Revolution. Correct. What painter's fame initially was based on his paintings of Coca-Cola bottles and Campbell's soup cans? Riverfield? Andy Warhol. Correct. What category of extremophiles requires at least a 0.2 molar concentration of sodium chloride to grow? Caney Valley? Thermo. Incorrect. Riverfield? Souls. Lovers. Incorrect. It's halophiles. We have a video math question for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Grenier, math professor at Rogers State University. Simplify the square root of the quantity 25 over 289. Riverfield? 5 over 17. Yes, correct. What kind of astronomical body would have an albedo of zero? Caney Valley? Star. Incorrect. Riverfield? Asteroid. Incorrect, it's a black hole. Ah, and that's all the time we have for the speed round. The score stands at 110 for Riverfield and 40 for Caney Valley. Don't go anywhere, round two is coming right up. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. At RCB Bank, you are not just a number. You are our neighbor, friend, coworker, PTA partner, business owner down the street, and so much more. We value our relationship with you. We are here to serve you at any of our locations or online at rcbbank.com. With over 50 locations across Oklahoma and Kansas, we're everywhere you need us to be. RCB Bank is your hometown community bank interested in your financial well-being. RCB Bank, that's my bank.
Hi, I'm Robert Hale from Riverfield. If I could have an unlimited amount of anything, I would take an unlimited amount of coffee. I'm Joshua saying if I could have an unlimited amount of anything, I would have unlimited scrunchies. I'm Miles Capehart. If I could have unlimited anything, I would have unlimited property. I'm Brendan Paul. If I could have an unlimited amount of anything, I would obviously take money. And welcome back to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. Teams, are you ready for more questions? Because the Advantage Round is coming your way next. Next up, the Advantage Round. In this round, the teams face off by first attempting to answer a speed question. The team that answers correctly receives 10 points and the opportunity to answer three Advantage questions worth 10 points each. After the three advantage questions, it's back to the speed questions to determine who gets the next advantage. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. All right, teams, here's your first speed question. What is the name for the solidified lava filling the vent of a volcano? Caney Valley. Magma. Incorrect. Riverfield? Obsidian. Incorrect. It's called a plug. All right. What is the easternmost of the Nordic countries? Caney Valley? Norway. Incorrect. Riverfield? Sweden. Incorrect. It's Finland. What category of adverbs answer the question where? Caney Valley? Prepositions. Incorrect. Riverfield? Locational. Judge? Yes, that's correct. Adverbs of place, location. Yes. Ah, um, advantage for Riverfield, volcanoes. Name the kind of debris flow consisting of pyroclastic clastic material, rock fragments, and water that surges down the slopes of erupting volcanoes. Mud flow. In the Mount Pele eruption of 1902, some 30,000 people were killed, mostly in what Martinique town? The answer is Saint Pierre. Name the kind of expansive basin at these sites Valgrande, Kilauea, Manu Loa. Shield Basin. Incorrect. It's a caldera. All right, back to speed. If you were on dry land 15 meters below sea level in Australia, you would be in or near what lake? Riverfield? Victoria Lake. Incorrect. Caney Valley? Lake Murray. Incorrect. It's Lake Eyre. The medial end of the clavicle articulates with what other bone? Riverfield? Scapula. Incorrect. Caney Valley? Sternum. Sternum is correct. Advantage for Caney. Taxonomy. Characterized by their distinct tentacled heads, name the most complex and highly organized class of mollusks. Chordata. Incorrect. It's cephalopods. These are major subdivisions of what subclass of chordots? Agnatha, Placoderms, Kendrichthys, Osteichthys, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, Mammalia. Animals. Incorrect, it's vertebrates. What taxonomic phylum includes the greatest number of creatures with compound eyes? Eyes. What is it? Arachnids. Arachnids. Incorrect, it's arthropods. arthropods. Back to speed. Restate this line so it is grammatically correct. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Caney Valley? Let him who is without sin. Correct, advantage for Caney. Geometry vocabulary. What is the name for a pair of angles that lie on opposite sides and at opposite ends of a transversal? Um, 
alternate. Turn. Correct. What kind of polygon has an internal angle greater than 180 degrees? Internal angle greater than. Obtuse. Obtuse. Incorrect. It's concave Obtuse. polygon. On the surface of a sphere, the shortest distance between two points is called a great what? Great. Great chord. Incorrect. It's a great circle. All right, back to speed. The two largest airports serving London and Gatwick are Gatwick and what other? Riverfield? Heathrow. Correct. Advantage for Riverfield. Weapons. What is the term for a group of guns placed along a fort wall or on a battlefield? Artillery. Incorrect. It's battery. What medical procedure that shares a name with a long thrusting weapon of the Middle Ages means to incise or abscess, an abscess or boil? Uh, spear. Incorrect. It's lance. What is the general term for weapons containing such substances as dianicide, chlorosulfonate, mustard gas, or sarin? Chemical. Correct. All right, back to speed. The Olive Branch petition was an appeal to what king? Caney Valley? King George III. Correct. Advantage for Caney literary forms. In The Princess Bride, the romantic fairy tale is supposedly read by the grandfather. This structure is an example of what kind of story? Frame. Frame. Yeah. Frame. Correct. There are common elements in what kind of fiction that the name of which is reminiscent of a kind of uh, medieval architecture? Baying of distant dogs, gusts of wind blowing out the lights, sighs, moans, and howls, ruins of buildings and doors grating on rusty hinges. Gothic. Gothic. Correct. What type of novel is set in a particular period and describes events and manners of that time? Historical. 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 Correct. Back to speed. What sensation is created by patterns of alternating compression and rarefaction? Caney Valley. Vibration. Incorrect. Riverfield. Longitudinal wave. Incorrect. It's sound or hearing. Back to speed. All right. These English words were borrowed from what language? Dado, torso, solo, intaglio, stucco. Caney Valley. Latin. Incorrect. Riverfield. Spanish. Incorrect. Italian. These two elements that play key roles in the transmission of neural impulses are sodium and what other? Caney Valley. Chloride. Incorrect. Riverfield. Chlorine. Incorrect. It's potassium. What kind of tuff originally fell to earth as volcanic ash lithified into rock? Caney Valley. Volcano. Incorrect. Riverfield. A pommel stone. Incorrect. It's a welded tuff. The testa is the outer covering of what part of a plant? Caney Valley. Stem. Incorrect. Riverfield. Leaf. Incorrect. It's the seed. Ah, and that bell means that is all the time we have for the advantage round. The score now stands at 140 Riverfield, 110 Caney Valley. Pretty close. Coming right back with our next round. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. I Want Answers is made possible by the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, one of the largest, most inland river ports of the U.S. inland river system. Agricultural commodities, building materials, fuel, and machinery are shipped into and out of the Tulsa Port of Catoosa daily using a combination of barge, rail, and truck. To learn more about the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, visit their website at tulsaport.com and also by Advanced Research Chemicals, providing customer-focused solutions to basic and advanced chemical applications. ARC has a long history of giving back to our local and international communities. For more information, visit FluorideArc.com. I love coming into the lab every day. 
My job is to screen evidence for DNA analysis. When I started at Rogers State University, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But after I took my first chemistry class, I realized that I wanted to be in the lab. It does feel good to go to school and to find a direction and then wind up doing something that I enjoy. Not everyone can say that. It all started for me at Rogers State University. We are the Caney Valley Trojans. My name is Dakota Johnson, and if I could have one item of anything, I would have uh, $10 bills. My name is Alex Thomason, and if I could have an unlimited item, it would be $20 bills. My name is Braden Peckham, and if I could have an unlimited amount of anything, it would be $50 bills. My name is Hunter Bullock. I'm a junior, and I want to have a bunch of hams. And welcome back to I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. We are down to the final round of our competition tonight. The Whirlwind Round is coming right up. Next up, it's the Whirlwind Round. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories, and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer them. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible, and then the other team gets their turn at one of three remaining categories. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If any team correctly answers all 10 questions, they receive 10 bonus points. All right, well, Caney Valley, your team is trailing right now, so you get to pick between one of these three categories. Nobel Prize winners, battles, peninsulas. All right, make a decision, please. We'll take battles. Battles for yourself? Battles for ourselves. All right. I'll name the battle. You name the war. San Juan Hill. Spanish Civil War. Spanish Civil War. Judge? Correct. Wilderness Campaign. Um, Civil War. Correct. New Orleans. Uh, war of 1812. War of 1812. Correct. Liti Gulf. World War I. Incorrect. Quezon. Spanish American. Incorrect. Guilford Courthouse. Revolutionary War. Correct. Incon. Inchon. Pass. Fort Necessity. French and Indian War. Correct. Kandahar. Persian Gulf War. Incorrect. Battle of Fallujah. Napoleonic Wars. Incorrect. Good job. Okay, so Riverfield, you get Nobel Prize winners, peninsulas, or U.S. citizenship test. Right. U.S. citizenship test. U.S. citizenship test. All right, answer these questions from the U.S. citizenship test. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific. Pacific. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democrat and Republican. Correct. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Correct. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. Correct. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Correct. Who was the president during the Great Depression and World War II? FDR. Correct. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalism. Correct. Who was president during World War I? Yeah, Wilson. Correct. Name any one of the three writers of the Federalist Papers. Uh, Adams. John Adams. No, he is not on there. Sorry, that is not correct. All right, but good job. Well, after a quick review, the judges have um, decided that the score is now 230 Riverfield and 150 Caney Valley. So let's go back to a few more speed questions. All right, ready? The ambulacrum is a row of what kind of feet on an echinoderm? Riverfield? Tube feet. Tube feet is correct. The jejunum lies between the ilium and what other digestive organ? 
Riverfield. Sacrum. Incorrect. Candy Valley. Large intestine. Incorrect. It's a duodenum. What character in Catch-22 said this? What's good for m and Enterprises is good for the country. Riverfield. Yosarian. Incorrect. Candy Valley. Mathis. Incorrect. It's Milo Minder Binder. Name the last British overseas territory in the Pacific. Riverfield. Falkland Islands. Incorrect. Candy Valley. New Zealand. Incorrect. It's Pitcairn Islands. Thanks to Brom Stoker and Braun Castle in Transylvania, Romania is also known as whose castle? Candy Valley. Dracula. That is correct. How many grams of zinc sulfide are formed by the reaction of 65 grams of zinc with 32 grams of sulfur? Riverfield. 97. That is correct. The earliest, oh, excuse me, in Canada, what is the most widely spoken Romance language? Riverfield. French. Correct. What flower name can be made from the three Greek letters, E-T-A, N-U, and Pi? Riverfield. Petunia. Correct. The Kilimanjaro Massif spans the border of Tanzania and what other country? Riverfield. Kenya. Correct. The specific volume of a substance is the reciprocal of what other physical property? Caney Valley. Density. Correct. Regarding populations, what is the meaning of ZPG? Caney Valley. Zero percent growth. Judge. No. Incorrect. Riverfield. Zero population growth. Zero population growth is correct. Very close. What is the general term for the mining of alluvial deposits? Riverfield. Water mining. Incorrect. Candy Valley. Strip mining. Incorrect. It's placer mining. Ah, and that bell concludes tonight's competition. The final score stands at 290 Riverfield and 170 Caney Valley. That means that Riverfield is our winner tonight. Great job, both teams. You both did really well. So as we look at our bracket, we see that Riverfield will advance to our championship game and be playing Vanita next week. Thank you, teams, for playing, and thank you, audience, for joining us as we showcase the knowledge of our local Green Country High School academic teams. Now be sure to follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram, and you can always catch up on past episodes anytime at rsu.tv. We'll see you next time for another exciting competition on I Want Answers. I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, the Tulsa Port of Catoosa, Advanced Research Chemical, Rogers State University, and by viewers like you. Thank you.